Yo, still bills. What's the deal, man? Yo, P gang though, man. We got we got some talk about this shit, man. Um, well, first off, I'm on my way to the movies. I've been waiting over a year for this Candyman joint to drop, man. So I'm, ah, uh, oh, man, I'm super excited to see it. Candy, I gotta stop. I'll tell a story one day on how bad Candyman fucked me up in broad daylight. But uh, well, I was watching the first movie when I first started to get into horror flicks, but. Nonetheless, man, peep game. Let's talk about this shit, cause I'm almost at the destination, man. I wanted to talk about Deontay Wilder, and not Deontay Wilder, but Fanon's um his response to Mark Breland. Counterpunch boxer, shout out to Counterpunch boxer. He uh, he uploaded a video of uh, Fanon talking about how um, Mark Breland needs to, uh, you know accept accountability for his wrongdoing as it pertains to what happened with Wilder and Fury in their in their second fight last February. And how do you, my thing is, how do I accept account, accountability for saving somebody's life or somebody's health? You dig? Like, I, you know, why, your power comes from your legs. Anybody who follows the sport of boxing, if you have no legs, you have no nothing. Not only can you not move effectively, but you don't have enough, you don't have enough uh, 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 wind and power in your legs and strength in your legs to generate the adequate amount of power you need to down a nigga. You don't. And he didn't possess that at the time. You seen how he was getting ragdolled all over the ring. You seen that. We all saw that. So I'm just supposed to ignore that and continue to let and let you continue to fight despite the fact that you're hell bent on the fact that oh man I have one I have the eraser right here yeah but you also have, you're lacking what you need for the eraser to be effective at this particular point in time which is your legs which is your legs You, this is what, like, I, I've, I've, um, I can't get jiggy with the LDBC, even though I understand their, um, their paradigm and what they do is, is, there is, is really a necessity with what they do as far as being exclusive to black fighters. You dig? They created a space for black fighters, to, you know, to that they were, all, they're only willing to speak on black fighters. They only support black fighters, and that's dope. I think that's a beautiful thing. We need that in society today where people are very unapologetic about us first. So their movement and their narrative, or whatever, I mean, no, not their narrative, but their intent is a necessity. It's needed. It's needed. On a social scale, on a, on a scale of socialism, it is. But when it comes to the sport, they, you know, they try to collude social issues and boxing and a lot of times they just miss it's a lot of misses it's a lot of missing 78 i used to follow 78 back in the day he was the one who hit me to what golden boy was doing with al Haney. that's an issue where that you know some that shit was a that it was necessary to speak on the wrong doing uh, you know you know to speak on the ill will that that was a necessity but in this regard is just you know it's just really getting ridiculous it's really just getting ridiculous because they're not saying anything to Deontay Wilder about the black people that he's berated who don't agree with nothing that he's saying. I don't see any of them giving uh, Mark Breland an interview to, 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 to get his side of the story. I'm not seeing any of that. I don't see none of that. I just see them niggas berating Mark Breland and praising Deontay Wilder. So Mark Breland has to tell, uh, you know, take accountability, accountability for his wrongdoing, which was saving a man's life and his motor skills. When does he take accountability for not listening to his coach and developing a proper jab? This whole idea, this whole mindset that you have to be perfect for 12 rounds, I only have to be perfect for one second, and nobody watches boxing to see uh, 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 to see technique. They they watch it to see knockouts. There's, there's truth to that to a certain degree, though. It takes a skill set to pump the jab and counter punch and learn, you know, calculate somebody's timing to a point where you're able to slip that you, you're able to slip the jabs and the straights and weave the hooks and step back off of the uppercuts when they're throwing as fast as they can with the intent to hurt you. It's a, um, it's a skill set in that. 
we watch to see knockouts. Everybody wants to see a knockout, but the knockout is the cherry on top. It's the ice cream after you've had your dinner for the night. That's what that is. The knockout is, all right, man, um, you got shorty at the club number. I'm taking her home. That's what the knockout is. And you can't predicate your, your game plan on knocking somebody out without taking the requisite steps to earn the knockout, breaking somebody down, completely neutralizing, or capitalizing on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a situation, and there you have the knockout. And it was what really bothers me is Wilder is a. Uh, his actions are proven otherwise of the claims that he's making. You don't, you don't learn to become a complete boxer after you got cheated. Because you getting cheated is why, so, like, you being as dominant as you are is the reason why someone decided to cheat. It's a contradiction. You sitting here trying to become a complete boxer, which is good, by the way. But it isn't indicative of somebody cheating because in order for somebody to feel for somebody for somebody to feel justified in teaching cheating you, which it, it had to admit you was doing something that I had no answer for. So even the actions are really is shaped. So I'm just like, man, this is whack, bro. Like this is this is whack. Mark Breland once again gets continued to get drugged through the mud and be rated. That shit is corny to me. That shit is corny to me, man. Even to a poor man, you know, the nigga was like, oh, man. He said what he said about Mark Breland, sullied the man's name, accused him of, 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 of um, conspiring with his opposition to beat him. Spiking his water and everything. He, he, he said all that. And then naturally, when you go on, you go to defend yourself, because that's what any man with any sort of integrity will do is defend himself. When he goes to defend himself, what do you do? You have the nerve to get mad that he's defending himself. Like, he's just supposed to sit there and let you say whatever the fuck you want to say to uh, uh, to and about him. That's that man's livelihood. That's that man's livelihood. Your voice carries power, man. And there's people who believe in all this conspiracy, you know, this conspiratorial bullshit as far as that fight goes. And who's to say that? Nah, I, I'm not fucking with Mark. I'm not fucking with Mark. A man who carried your career well over a decade is gonna fucking do that shit to you. And when he pulls you out of the fire, he's being an ambassador for doing so. You ought to thank that man. And your cronies real life need to this shit is that shit is not cool. It's cool to be a fan of somebody, man, but you have to also know when to check a nigga. And just say, nah, homie, that ain't the move right there. And that he doesn't have that in his corner. He got a lot of yes man ass niggas surrounding him. Cause that you know they like he likes his ego to be stroked. If he loses this fight, what next? I don't think anybody is asking that question. What happens if he loses this fight? What happens if he loses? Because he can't handle a loss in the night. He's helping on the fact that he got cheated. What happens when all, you know, the Nevada State uh, 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 Commission and everything is that much more thorough on their searches, you know, on their on their, on the processes that they go through as far as the water and the, and the drink and everything? What then? What happens when he just loses to the better man? How is he going to be able to respond to that? Y'all niggas need to quit able, enabling this dude, man. Y'all do. It's corny as fuck. Yeah, I, there, there's just no other words for it. It's, it's lame as fuck. Y'all niggas look like some bozos doing that shit. Yeah, don't talk to me about Mark Breland needing to accept accountability for his wrongdoing and we're not gonna hold Deontay Wilder to the same standard. Let's hold him to the standard of why didn't you learn to pump the jack? Why didn't you learn how to develop technique off of pump no not technique but vocabulary off of you know off of the jab with your natural gifts ask yourself that question man and if you're a real one you'll have a proper answer to it
peace.